An Indianapolis woman is alleging housing discrimination. Uh, apparently, her home was severely undervalued as a result of her being black. Uh, so now, the woman in question is Carlet Duffy, and she had recently filed a housing discrimination complaint in Illinois. Uh, I'm sorry, in Indianapolis, uh, after getting a series of appraisals uh, as she is was working to refinance her home, which is located in a historically black neighborhood just outside of downtown. So she did the appraisal to get it, you know, because right now, understand that there's incredibly low interest rates. So it's really good for somebody who wants to refinance her home and, and get a lower payment and less interest uh, before those interest rates start going up. Uh, so now she's in the process of doing that, and the appraisal came back uh, a lot lower. How much lower? Double. Uh, the, her home was twice valued below her 2017 purchase price. So if she were to refinance, she would actually get a lot less back as a result. So now that's curious. Now, you can say a lot. Look, how housing market has changed. Uh, we've had a pandemic, and uh, we've had financial disruption, and whatever else they could theoretically say would lower property values. I don't see how. Um, you know, uh, even with the pandemic, the, the actual the price of housing has actually gone up as a result. Uh, and so more people, of course, were looking to work from home, or were looking to move into a permanent housing and things like that. Uh, and so, you know, that's, that's not a situation where you have, you know, a reason for appraisals to, co uh, to come back that much lower. So now she tried to challenge this and say, wait, wait a minute. Uh, my house didn't get worse in two years. No, uh, you know, we've been taking care of our home and, and all that stuff. Uh, why is it so much lower? Well, um, they came back and said, well, I don't know. Uh, it's just it's just lower. Uh, that's why. So I'm sorry, but we're not, we're not going to change it. <laughs> you're not going to get you're not going to get what you you know uh, the the same rate, uh, the same price as we you know uh, as as the original appraisal back in 2017 uh, because you've lived in it. Now instead of taking the obviously terrible deal, she decided to uh, to look into it, and she ended up reading a New York Times article. Uh, about housing, uh, you know, discrimination. So when she read that, she decided to apply some of the lessons. Here's what she said to W I, uh, I'm sorry, W X I N T V. Quote: I decided to do exactly what was done in the article. I took down every photo of my family from the house. I took every piece of ethnic artwork out. So any African artwork I took out, I displayed my degrees. I removed certain books. Duffy then asked a white male friend to sit in during the appraisal and did not declare her race in the application or any other communications with the appraisal company. So basically, oh, it's a white family uh, in a white home. Okay. Now, of course, it, I mean, it, it had to have come back the same, right? I mean, we're in a post-racial country. Racism doesn't exist anymore. We had a black president. We did it. We beat the racisms. Unfortunately, no, that's, that's not the case. The appraisal actually came back more than double the first two, valuing her, her home at more than $100,000 higher, higher. So, and here's the thing. We're not talking about a poor neighborhood, obviously, uh, or we're not talking about somebody who doesn't take care of their home. We're not talking about any of that. This is pure racism, and that's it. I mean, obviously, for the for the mind, uh, you know, in the mind of the appraiser, black people lived here, so obviously, it's got to be worth less. Well, that's insane. Following this, Duffy and the Fair Housing Center for Central Indiana had asked the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development to investigate these discrepancies. Now, they found that. The what the appraiser did pulled comparable sales from black neighborhoods more than a mile away in a different neighborhood rather than those closer to her home around the area, like on her street, which is what they should be doing. They should be pulling it 
from her her community, her neighborhood. Instead, they're like, no, 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 we're going to go to the other neighborhood that's worth less. Why? Because of the system. It's systemic racism. According to the Washington Post, decades of research have revealed bias in mortgage lending, including redlining. Undercover investigations have also exposed pervasive discrimination by some real estate brokers, with agents being accused of steering black home buyers away from white areas or denying them basic information to make a home purchase easier. So in the case of appraisals, they'll go and, again, uh, pull home prices from lower-valued areas, black communities, even the house, even if the house isn't located in those communities, and use that to give uh, appraisal values that are lower to black families. So that's incredibly messed up. Even though, again, there are technically supposed to be rules against that, it appears that there are too many people that do not follow those rules. Uh, now, there are states that are trying to crack down, that are trying to make changes, uh, that are trying to make changes in the industry. But still, it's it's not enough. So right now, uh, until that gets fixed, black homeowners, beware. If you, if you think that you're, if you're a black homeowner and you think your appraisal value is too low, chances are you're probably right. And you need to get a second opinion. You need to get a second look. Uh, a second look. Do not settle for less than you think your home is worth. Okay, and, and unfortunately, right now that's the only tool uh, that I can see available, other than trying to continue uh, to wait for the system to get fixed. Now, of course, I think that part of uh, being able to get the, uh, that system fixed is to make sure that this issue is well known and prevalent. Uh, you've got to, you know, you know. You got to let people know that this is happening. And so that's why this story is important. That's why the New York article or New York Times article is important. That's why generally, because most people understand that we don't know that this happens. A lot of white people are unaware. We're like, wait a minute. Your, your, your appraisals are coming back lower for no reason because you're black. That's insane. That's ridiculous. How is this? How is this possible? How is this possible? Well, it is. And more people need to know about it and to create such outrage that things do change. It's insane that she had to go through and pretend that her family was a white family just to be able to get the value of their house that they deserve. Now, here's what Duffy said about this. And she's right to be angry. I get choked up even thinking about it now because I was so excited and so happy and then I was so angry that I had to go through all of that just to be treated fairly. And again, we should all be angry because understand this is the bias in the system. This is why we should all be angry about this. We should be angry that this happens and continues to happen and should also make us realize that we've got a long way to go uh, culturally, systemically, to actually try to achieve true equity and to free our country from the legacy of slavery and from Jim Crow, because uh, we're not free and, until everyone is. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and share with your friends. You can subscribe and help out the channel by becoming a patron. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf, or you can become a channel member as well by hitting the join button below.